something I'm not. I'm a brand over my company committed to space travel. I can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Mark four minutes, five seconds. Columbia now 52 nautical miles in altitude, 132 nautical miles down range. And they all got their astronaut pins because they're above 50 Columbia nautical now miles traveling altitude. Velocity so they, they are in space, percent. but they're not quite in orbit as yet. That's correct. other cities last night. The military government says the solidarity plan for a nationwide protest was a fiasco with only 2,000 workers trying to strike. The Vietnam... Over Lenore, Allen swiftly moving downrange now. Now 50 or 174 nautical miles downrange. They're looking for an orbit 160 nautical miles. 50 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 57 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 192 nautical miles. And that, miles I think, range. if my arithmetic is correct, is 184 statute miles. I'll be using your go at five minutes. Roger, go at five minutes. Mark five minutes, 10 seconds. Columbia now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 222 nautical miles in range. Three astronauts are sitting in the upper deck, the flight deck, and they probably have a view of what's ahead. For Prestamico. One astronaut down below, Prestamico. That means uh, go ahead to main engine cutoff. Miko, main right. engine cutoff. Columbia, you have Prestamico. Even if one engine is lost, they can now achieve orbit. Five minutes, 44 seconds, a Preston Miko call from Capcom Stewart says, should Columbia lose but one engine, press on, keep flying forward. Columbia's engines have enough energy to achieve normal altitude and velocity at cutoff. The voice of John McLeish at Mission Five Control in Houston. seconds, Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 307 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 13, standing by for single engine TAL. Columbia Houston, you have single engine TAL capability. Roger. Six minutes, uh, 15 seconds. That report from Capcom Stewart indicates if a two-engine failure occurred, the crew aboard Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Dakar Airport. Mark six minutes, 25 Dakar seconds. Columbia Senegal, down, 59 nautical miles go. altitude, right. 316 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading uh, 15,400 feet per second. Mark, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to in, in, increase velocity level uh, off altitude, uh, giving Columbia a most favorable attitude. Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude. Very little has six been said from the spacecraft. Seconds. A quiet Columbia crew on board, which is not unusual. It's a good Mission sign. Control. It's a good sign. Columbia now 59 Means they're very relaxed. Altitude, True. 445 nautical miles Enjoying the range. view. Velocity now reading 17,900 feet per second. Seven minutes, 12 seconds. Seven, standing by for single engine press to Miko. Yeah, you have single engine press to Miko capability. Copy. Three so minutes, can go all the way on minutes, one of the seconds. three main engines. That report says Brandon Overmeyer can achieve normal engine cutoff targets even if two engines go out. Columbia now 58 nautical miles in altitude, 535 nautical miles down range. <coughs> I think it's worth reminding everybody well, that when the shuttle comes back, it comes back without engines. It comes back as a glider and has one shot at landing and only one shot. And that landing is expected to take place next Tuesday, early morning, at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at six seconds before main engine cutoff. Eight minutes. Flight Dynamics Officer Ron Epps reports uh, Columbia's velocity at 23,000 feet per second. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. Columbia now 59 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 675 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 24,400 feet per second. Mark, eight minutes, 25 seconds. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Main engine cutoff will be followed by the separation of the huge external tank. Copy, good, Nico, Columbia. 80,000 pound confirmed shut down Columbia now space for a time. fifth time this time of the four-man crew standing by now for external tank separation Columbia now 795 nautical miles down range go no go status check and mission control by flight director uh, Tom Holloway for the first ohms burn and shutting down the auxiliary power units 
We should hear confirmation. Confirming external there tank separation. And that will break up and fall over a wide below and beyond the external tank. pattern in the uh, Indian Ocean. Correct. It is hoped that they've warned all the ships to.